from Boxing Evolution TV, and I'm joined here on the phone by Matty Askin, who is coming up against Oval McKenzie for the British Cruiserweight title uh, very shortly at this this Friday, I believe. How are you feeling, Matty? Oh, hi, mate. Um, yeah, I'm feeling fantastic. Oh, I'm raring to go now, three days away um, until there's a new Commonwealth and British champion. Three days until, and the new hashtag, and the new. <laughs> yeah, definitely, mate, definitely. Well, um, I'll, be, I'll be intrigued to see if you're uh, coming away with that title after Friday. So let's t let's talk a little bit about um, Oval. Um, you know, he he's had 23 fights. I mean, he's uh, won quite probably around half of them by KO, but he's also lost himself roughly um, an equal amount of fights, and he's also been knocked out himself. So he's a big puncher, and he's a tough guy, but at the same time, he can be stopped. Um, I mean, what's your take on that? Yeah, you know, he is what he is. You know what you're going to get with him. He's, he's, he's awkward, he's got a bit of a punch on him, you know, and he's susceptible to being caught and being hurt himself. And, you know, he's mixed at some good levels. But um, I don't believe that he'll mix with someone as good as me when, when I arrive on Friday night. And that that is for sure, you know. I know, I know exactly what I've done. I know exactly how I've trained, what's gone right. And, look, like I say, I'm just looking forward to getting in there and, and putting on a great performance. Um, no, I mean, I want to touch on something uh, which might be of, of interest and relevance to this fight. Um, Oval McKenzie has actually lost twice to John Lewis Dickinson. It was down at light heavyweight, but I also noticed you have beaten John Lewis Dickinson uh, according to your box rec record. Now, is um, John, his, John Lewis, Oval's fight with John Lewis Dickinson something that you're going to be paying attention to, to in your strategy for this fight? Yeah, um, yeah, I didn't beat John Lewis. I got beat off him. Oh, apologies, um, apologies. I'm yeah, yeah. Oh, he lost the gun as well. <laughs> <laughs> but I beat him. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I watched it. I actually went to it. I went to Newcastle to watch it. Yeah. And, um, you know, I watched it. Oval's not the fighter. He isn't light heavy. He's nowhere near as busy. You know, he's not a busy fighter anyway. But he's nowhere near as busy. He's not as confident as committing. Um, you know, and he caught John Lewis with... A good shot, you know, he come out fast and Dickinson don't like that, but saying that, I've sparred, I've sparred Dickinson for this fight, you know, done a few rounds with him and I've talked to him and, you know, the, things weren't going right for him outside of the gym, you know, his mind wasn't on it and he said, and he, you know, so them little things come into factors, would, would he have yeah. the full John Lewis have beaten him? Probably, yeah. So, you know, that fight isn't too much to dwell upon. Um, the Conquest fight I've watched over and over again, you know, yeah. and, and studied that and how he boxes and, you know, he has, his, his right hand gets him out of a lot of trouble because he'll be in that box in that fight uh, until, until he landed the right hand and then, you know, he was full of confidence again. But I will say that I have got a great chin. I have got a good chin. You have, you have got a good chin, that is, sorry. Yeah, I have got a good chin, yeah. So I know, I know, we used to say that if he does land, it's going to work, you know. These are, these are all questions that need to be answered on the night. So, you know, as a, like I say, I've watched him, I've studied him. As long as I stick to what I need to do, it's a victory for me. So let, let me just uh, kind of, um, what's the word, abbreviate what you've just said. Do you think basically... Yeah, I've got one in a bit. heavyweight. You think that he's probably a better fighter than he is at cruise weight because he's got a better work rate and stuff like that. And I also I also believe that you said to me before when I was speaking to you before the interview, you're actually naturally the bigger bigger guy in this. He's not a natural cruise weight. You are a natural cruiser weight, so you're going to be kind of bringing that advantage to it too. Yeah, definitely. You know, well, he admits himself he's a natural light like, heavy. You know, he's, he's staying up here because it's where he's, well, he's the champion, so why not? Yeah. You know, it's where, it's where the money's at for him at the moment. Well, obviously, so yeah. I'm going to be coming in. I'm I'm coming down me from 16 stone. You know, I'm a big lad and I'm naturally big. Yeah. You know, and I'm athletic with it. So that's they're, they're going to cause him major problems on fight night. You know, just the speed and power alone. So yeah. Do you think he's going to have to work extra hard, even just to kind of make things even? You know, due to the natural size advantage that you've got. Yeah, he's going to he, he he's going to have to work extremely hard, whether it be mentally or physically. There's, there's, there's going to be times where he's going to be struggling in that fight a lot, and and that just be down to size alone. Now, however, what I want to say is obviously you're naturally a bigger guy. You're obviously having to cut weight to come down to this. Whereas judging by Oval's Facebook, all I ever see him putting up pictures of up of is his food that he's eating. <laughs> and the guy seems to eat a lot. <laughs> 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 
Okay. Unfortunately, I'd like to tell you it is, but it's not. It, it actually looks like good food. But all I can say is that he seems to eat a hell of a lot of it, which means that I know that he, he's obviously not having to worry about, you know, energy yeah, when it comes to training, weight. you know, weight, making weight. Whereas you have got to be, do you know, do you think that might come affect things at all? No, no, definitely not. No, I've got top, I've got top, top nutritional, this Max nutrition that, you know, make sure I'm feeling brilliant, you know, every day, every part of the day. And, you know, I'm, I'm eating healthy, you know, I'm just not eating bundles and bundles and bundles, you know, I'm doing it right, but I'm not drained, you'll, you'll see it weighing, you know, I'm not going to be drawn, Yeah. and then come Thursday, you know, I'll get, I'll enjoy some, some whatever food I have, whatever I fancy, do you know what I mean, so, yeah. no, it's not a factor whatsoever, you know, I've been doing 12 rounds sparring and stuff like that, so, and, I, and I push myself all the way through, so that isn't a factor in this at one bit. Okay, well, it sounds like you've put in the preparation work and uh, conf- like physically and mentally you're sounding confident. So I guess there's not really a lot left to, to discuss now or do ahead of the, the fight on Friday. Unfortunately, I won't be able to make it to the weigh-in because it's it's up in your way and I'm I'm down here. But um, I'll be looking forward to it's seeing you. It's in Turnford, the weigh-in. It's in where, sorry? It's in Turnford at the offices. Oh, okay, well, offices, well, like, so. oh, what, you mean in London? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, I wasn't aware of that. Well, maybe I'm not sure if I can make it down, but if I don't, I'll be looking forward to the footage of it anyway. And uh, for anyone at home that doesn't know, uh, your fight can be seen on Friday night live on Box Nation. It certainly can, my friends, and uh, everyone tune in for a great, a great, great fight. Okay, and uh, is there any tickets left for anyone that might still want to come and support you? Yeah, there's, there's still a few left on the door. You know, there'll be, there's not many, so they'd have to be quick there, getting there when the door's open, but there will be a few left over, definitely. Okay, brilliant. And for anyone that wants to follow you on social media uh, or Facebook, like Twitter and that, do you have your Twitter and Facebook? Yeah, my Twitter is at Matthew Askin and my Facebook is just Matthew Askin. Okay, Matthew. Well, listen, um, I wish you the best of luck for uh, Friday. I'm hopefully I can catch up with Oval and uh, ask him a few questions and see what he's got to respond to to what you've said and also I'll ask him yeah. about the KFC, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll play it on him. Hopefully, I can get a bit of a confession out of him. But um, you know, I'm sure Friday night, either I will remain the champion or we'll have a new champion. So may the best man win, and uh, I look forward to seeing the fight. Nice one. Thank you very much, Ted. Thank you, Matty. Take care. All the best, mate. Bye bye. Bye bye.